guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. It is my monthly haul. So this is April's haul and uh, there's some exciting stuff here. I definitely went ham, so I'm not even gonna try and hide it. Plus there was a Sephora sale. I did get two of my orders in. It's May now when I'm filming this, so I'm expecting the rest of my orders to come in over the next few weeks. I will keep you guys posted. You will see all of that in my May haul video, but I have been shopping up a storm and I'm not even mad about it because it's been so fun to play with some of these new makeup launches. If you guys are curious to know what is on my face today, this video may not already be up, but if it's if it is or if it's not, it's my Scott Barnes first impressions video. So make sure you go ahead and keep an eye out for that if it's not up already. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I laid out some stuff and then I have a basket so it's gonna be pretty organized I think. So I got some refills for the Sephora sale. One of the things I was so excited to pick up was a new Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I had mentioned this in a Sephora like wishlist type video I did I think and I'd also posted on my community tab letting you guys know this was my favorite toner if you guys were looking for recommendations of things to buy during the Sephora sale. So I'm so pumped. I actually picked up three of these. I got one. It's already upstairs. This one is the one that's in my beauty room. I just put it in the box, you know, to create the illusion that this just got here. But as you guys can see, I make quick haste with these toners. It's like the only thing I've like panned multiples of in at least a very long time. So I really adore this guy and I can see myself using this for many, many years to come. So one of the first purchases I made at the start of April was this little set. Oh my gosh, I think everyone was so excited when Natasha Denona released the mini retro palette. So I already have a look with this palette. I did like a battle of the palettes where I paired this up against the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Vintage Rose. If you guys are interested in seeing that, it's definitely up on my channel. And the hero for me in this collection was definitely this mini blush in the shade Bloom. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. You guys know I am such a sucker for a corally blush shade and this is no exception. I love this guy so, so much. If you guys have been wondering about that, I would totally recommend you picking that up. Okay, another thing I got on sale, but not during the Sephora sale, is the Pat McGrath Concealer and the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the shade Medium. So I was determined to skip this concealer because if you guys don't know about me, I had quite the debacle with her foundation. If you guys didn't know, I actually purchased the Pat McGrath foundation when it originally launched. I spent like way more money than I ever care to admit on that whole system and then there were shipping delays and it was all around just kind of like a heated mess and so I'm very cautious when I buy from Pat McGrath's website and I decided to pass on the concealer launch because I had honestly had enough after buying the foundation but then she had a decent sale it was like a spring sale event or something like that and I was pretty good so I picked up the concealer and the powder because you could get it in like a set. I must say you guys this powder is amazing. I love it so much. It's so lightweight and it honestly does that thing like that blurring thing that people say powders do because I know some people rave about like hourglass powders and I've tried many different powders where people on YouTube are like oh my gosh it looks like my skin is photoshopped or airbrushed this that and the other thing and I've never experienced that myself but this powder does that for me so I'm excited that I finally found a powder that makes my face look airbrushed. I love this so much I was totally considering picking up a backup during the Sephora sale but I was like okay like even though you love the Pat McGrath you still have other powders you need to finish up too so I'm glad I tried it I would totally recommend it to you guys and then the concealer I got in the shade M21 and this is a decent match I've tried this a few times I don't think this is as good as everyone says it is but I need to try it out some more before I give you guys the final verdict on that so yeah take it with a grain of salt I don't like think it's like a holy grail just yet but I have seen a lot of hype on that concealer which is what drew me to purchasing it. So the other thing I picked up during the Pat McGrath sale was a lip gloss from her. I had wanted this shade for so long and I was holding off so I picked up the shade Flesh 6. I have Flesh 4 which is a bit lighter. Flesh 6 is 
even more of a nudie glossy lip but I love this guy so so much I've been wearing this in quite a few videos and you guys always ask me like oh what lip combo are you wearing it's been this and this in the last few videos so this is the elf sheer stick bomb I guess in orange crush I just picked this up on a whim from Target and it's really beautiful it is quite sheer let me give you guys a swatch so here is a swatch of the elf sheer stick and this is like four or five bucks I don't know it's really affordable so I picked that up and I love putting this gloss on top of this and it just gives me the most beautiful plumpiest glossiest lip look so if you guys are looking for a good gloss recommendation Pomegranate is my favorite lip gloss I have to say I've tried quite a few lip glosses I'm also really getting into lip glosses right now with the season I think it just makes sense for me I love these they're very opaque they're not sticky and they have the most beautiful sheen on your lips so the next purchases I made are from a new brand that I had not tried before but I had heard so many people talk about Kosas, Kosas, and so then I tried it myself. I already filmed a video with these products. It's called Tan Girl Tries Kosas. I'll try and remember to link it for you guys, but I'm officially in love. I picked up their bronzer in the shade medium. This is the Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. Oh my god, this is so good. This is my new favorite bronzer. It says it is a clean shea butter bronzer, gives a silky smooth finish, feels weightless on the skin, and blends a effortlessly for an instant healthy glow baked in Italy oh my gosh and I love like the minty packaging and this is just so beautiful oh my gosh I may have ordered a backup of this actually I just ordered it on sale because it came back in stock I like wasn't sure when my Kosas package was coming so I ordered it on Sephora as well because I'm a savage whatever judge me if you want and then I ordered their concealer this is the revealer super creamy and brightening concealer I really like this I got it in the shade 07 and a lot of people had mentioned that this is more yellow tone which I like so so much it works with my skin tone and it says apply anywhere you want to brighten swipe or dab onto skin blend with your finger build as needed so very very happy with that concealer i've been using it a ton this month and then i also bought this guy oh my gosh so this is the helios and earth meets sun blush duo that smolders with fire and light highly pigmented and double color payoff so the cool thing about Kosas is they have two different versions of all their cream products. So there is an intense version and then just like a regular version. So the intense version is for people with tanner complexions or deeper complexions. And so I was just like, yes, I was so confused because if you look on the Sephora website, they have the same shade and then all it says is like intense. So it'll say Helios and then it'll say high intensity Helios. And you're like, what the hell does that mean? And so I picked this up. This one is a Kosas website exclusive. And so I'm so glad I picked the exclusive one. And then on Sephora, they have three shades there's eighth mile and two others i can't remember the names and i definitely bought all three of the high incent intensity shades that are available on sephora so i can't wait for them to come because i'm obsessed with this cream product so freaking good i had mentioned in my kosas video that if i don't like the fenty ones i'm not even gonna be mad because the kosas ones are so good I don't even care and then I finally got their tinted face oil I was nervous about this because you guys know I love full coverage but my friend Amy loves makeup really loves this as a foundation and I was like you know what I trust Amy and honestly this was a killer recommendation on her part I did not think I would like this but I really like this it is in the shade 7.5 which is a deep tan with warm undertones it says makeup meets skincare it says a feather weight light to medium coverage foundation and deeply hydrating skin elixir this is bomb oh my gosh i haven't used it on camera yet but i will i will film it you guys are gonna love it so so much i have a video coming up with morgan turner we're gonna do the first letter challenge and you guys know my name's karen Guess what starts with K? Kosas. So I will be using a lot of these new Kosas products in that video. So if you haven't caught it yet, 
go ahead and check that out. It should be up already. Okay guys, so speaking of Fenty, I did pick up three of the Fenty blushes. Now these I picked up before I knew how much I loved Kosas, so it's kind of funny because now I'm like, eh, I don't really care about the Fenty ones, but I did buy three shades because I was really, really quite excited about these when they were first announced. They are teeny tiny. I'm sure you guys have seen like a million reviews on these. So let me just cut the bullshit and get to it. This is the shade Fago Flush. It's a beautiful Cheeto orange color. I've worn all of these on my cheeks since the package came. So this is Rose Latte. It's a beautiful shade. It really blends out to a beautiful color. And then the last shade I picked up is Daiquiri Dip. And it's like a bright corally orange shade. Super beautiful. These are all going to be bomb for the summer and I love the tiny size. And then the other product I picked up from Fenty, this one I picked up before the sale started. I don't know, maybe I was feeling bougie. I never owned a Fenty matchstick and I don't know what attracted me to this shade Pearl, but I'm so glad I bought this. This is like a clear bomb and it just gives me the most beautiful, dewy, delicious glow. I can use this like straight from the tube. I can use it with a synthetic brush. I kind of want to try this like underneath my foundation kind of all over my face. I haven't done that yet, but I think it might look really beautiful. This gives me the most natural, dewy, beautiful highlighter. I love it so much. I would highly recommend you guys checking that out. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. So I'm very thankful for that. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is something I got in PR. I'm so excited for this. This is the Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb Palette. Now, they've had this palette for quite some time. I've seen a lot of their affiliates talk about this palette, and they recently repackaged it, and the owner was kind enough to send it to me. I've already done a look with this. You guys would have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me there. But this is just such a beautiful, colorful I don't know spring palette oh it's so stunning I want to play with this some more there's just so many fun looks that I can create with this and the packaging is so so cute and then she also sent me the Midas sponge which I'm so pumped about it comes in this cute little container and as you can see it's nice and dirty because I have already tried it out it's very very soft the only thing is, you guys know, I love my Pow Pow sponge and it's a dollar, so, okay, it's like two dollars, so, you know, I, uh, I can't really say, like, buy this one over that one, but if you guys are placing a Midas order anyway and you want to throw that in, you sure can. I also have a code with them. I will put it on the screen in case you guys want to save some money. Uh, okay, let's do some skincare. So... It was so funny. I'm on the Good Molecules PR list, so they randomly sent me a package. This was so fun to receive. This is a pure cold press rose hip seed oil. This is an antioxidant rich facial oil that delivers natural vitamin A and helps restore skin elasticity. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited. And the two things I really wanted to try from Good Molecules, I ended up placing an order from Beautylish and I picked these two up. I got the pineapple exfoliating powder and the niacinamide brightening toner. I thought the niacinamide toner looked so big online. I thought I was going to get like this big old bottle, um, but this is how big it is in real life in case any of you guys care so it says I can dispense this on a cotton pad so it says the nice in my toner will brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores so I'm really really excited to try that you guys know I love me a good toner and then the pineapple exfoliating powder says it'll brighten and gently exfoliate I have one exfoliator that's been sitting in my shower forever and ever and ever so I thought I would try the pineapple exfoliating powder because I'd seen so many people that got this in PR say good things about it. So I'm very curious to know if that is worth the hype or not. So I will keep you guys posted on that. And then let me show you some cute little eyeshadow palettes I picked up. These are the Revolution Pro Ultimate Eye Look Palettes. I did a look with these pretty early on in the month of April and you guys should go check that out if you're curious about these still. I think a lot of people said this brand kind of catfished people in with the packaging because the packaging is so cute you kind of want them. They're 15 bucks a piece and I got buy two get one free so I'm really not mad that I own these. I would be interested in maybe filming another look with this if you guys are interested in seeing it but I have so many fun goodies it's like I'm trying to prioritize if you guys know what I mean. And then I got more cute little palettes so let's show these off. I got the Nomad Cosmetics Studio 54 
palette and this one was a impulse buy. I definitely had a bad day at work and I just felt like I wanted to buy something and my friend Amy Loves Makeup has a code with Nomad so I decided to check this palette out. I've tried it out once so far and this is a multi-chrome palette and a lot of people have been saying like oh this is such a good price for multi-chromes. I honestly didn't love the formula too too much. It didn't really go on my eyes very easily and it was just not the best formula. I think you definitely want to put some kind of base on to make these shades pop. I mean look at the the duochrome multi-chromeness of these. They're very beautiful. Beautiful palette, great price point, but I'm kind of nervous now because I got their Tokyo palette. I haven't played with that palette yet on my eyes, but I'm kind of nervous after trying the formula of this one because that one has the same type of formula in the lowest row which is the one everyone's been hyping up so now I'm kind of conflicted but I will try it and report back to you guys and then I did get more things from Beautylish so I finally picked up Viseart palettes after a very very long break from Viseart I realized that I hadn't bought Viseart in about a year and you guys know the Shushu palette was killing me man I was like Nope, not gonna buy it, not gonna buy it. And then my friend, Legally Black Beauty, um, did a post with swatches on her Instagram. And I was like, okay, I'll buy it. Why not? Oh, look at this pink. Oh, that's really pigmented. How pretty. I am so pumped. I haven't used a pink shade yet, so we'll have to see. I've heard good things. I've heard Viseart has improved their formula, so I decided to give it a go and see. I had forgotten how small these palettes are. This is so tiny. It's literally the size of a credit card, but I'm not mad about it. If it packs a punch, I'm excited to try it out and see. And then, of course, I couldn't stop thinking about this Spritz palette, and this is their newest little palette. Uh, what do they call these? The Edit Palettes. And so I definitely want to do a look for you guys. I've already used this off camera. I wore this palette to work one day and it worked out really well. I haven't tried the shimmers though because I tried the Nomad shimmers with the mattes from these palettes. So I will get to that. And then my friend Amy made me buy this. This is the RCMA no color powder in a pressed form. I hated the packaging of the original loose powder so when Amy mentioned in a video that they had come out with a pressed powder version of this I was like oh my gosh let me add it and it was pretty affordable too so I decided to go ahead and pick this up and this is what that powder looks like and I believe it doesn't really have a cast or anything so I'm very very excited to play with that now that I've hauled it I can take it out of my um, what is it called? Purgatory box of makeup that I need to show you guys in a video, which is what I have to do because otherwise I forget what I bought. So. Here are some foundations I picked up during the Sephora sale. This one is a kind of a restock. This is the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation in the shade 50CG. I picked this up because I have the, the shade 60CG and I can't wear it because it's too dark right now for me. I feel like 50 is a little dark too. My neck looks so much lighter, but I'm happy with this foundation. I really like this foundation. It's so long lasting. It says up to 24 hour wear. Now, I've never actually worn a foundation for 24 hours, but I usually do my makeup at like 7 a.m. and I'm usually in my makeup until I take a shower at about 9, 10, 11 at night. So I really love this foundation. This one is like the only thing Urban Decay has done in the last few years that has made me like truly happy. So I'm so excited I have that. And then I saw Mel Thompson rave about this foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with SPF 75. So I'm really excited for this. I bought the shade 4W1. Not 100% sure if this is going to work for me or not, but I will definitely try it out and report back to you. She had mentioned that this was a dupe to that really nice like Tom Ford foundation that they just came out with for like $80. So give me that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Estee Lauder's foundation. It works so well for me. Okay, so something I bought recently that you guys not may not have known that I purchased. I picked up the new shades from JD Glow. So they launched these new singles. Let me give you guys some swatches. 
because I'm sure you guys are curious about these. I love JD Glow's eyeshadows. Their single eyeshadows are so beautiful and pigmented. So I wanted to grab them. Oh, the red one did not swatch well. Okay, that was a hot mess. Let me do that again. Okay, so there's the red. And then there's the purple shade. So there are the swatches. Sorry, these aren't the best swatches in the world. I'm excited to try those out and incorporate them into a eyeshadow look in the future on my channel. So okay, so before I show you guys the rest of the palettes I picked up, I want to show you one more thing I picked up during the Sephora sale. This is the Tasha the Liquid Silk Canvas. I have been eyeing this primer for so long. I didn't want to pay a full price for it, so I'm so happy I got it on sale. I really like some of Tasha's products and then some of their products I'm like Ugh, get that thing away from me so I'm so excited to try this because it's basically like everyone's holy grail primer and you guys know I don't even wear primer but I don't know just something about this I'm really hoping will give me that airbrush flawless skin look so I'm very, very happy that I was able to pick this up and I will report back to you guys in the future. Okay guys, so last but certainly not least, I'm gonna show you guys all the palettes I picked up. So I picked up these three little cuties from Nabla. These launched in April and they extended their cutie line. So I already did a three looks, three palettes video with these and I had so, so much fun playing with them. So you guys will have to go ahead and check out that video if you're curious to find out more about them but I was really really happy with the quality of those and then I picked up two palettes from Scott Barnes I saw these on sale and I was able to grab them so I'm very pumped about that this is the Snatural palette that retails for about $84 this is the palette I have on my eyes today and then I also picked up the Chic Cheek palette which is also the palette on my cheeks today and this has some beautiful fun cheek colors so if you guys want to see the tea on that keep an eye out for the video I filmed that has this look and then I picked up one more blush palette because I told you guys this is like the season of blush for me so I picked up the Natasha Denona Citrine Diamond and Blush palette this guy I actually originally owned a long time ago so pretty and I ended up decluttering it because I just thought it wasn't worth the price point. But Sephora was having it on sale during the Sephora sale. So I got extra sale on it and I think I paid maybe like 40 bucks for the thing. So I was okay with paying that price point for it. I haven't tried it out yet so I'm very very curious to see if I think it's worth keeping or if I'm like gonna end up getting rid of it again because it's originally like $80 so it's kind of like uh, uh, you know what I mean and then I picked up this guy before the Sephora sale and I would recommend this a hundred percent this is the Supreme Nudes palette by Artist Couture and this is what the inside looks like I had so much fun filming that first impressions video with this palette because it's just chef's kiss so good if you guys are on the market for a neutral palette you're probably not on the market for a neutral palette, but if you want a neutral palette, consider this one because it's really good. Okay, and last but certainly not least are my two Sigma palettes that I picked up. I went from no Sigma palettes to two Sigma palettes in like a week. So I bought the Corderosa because it just looks so beautiful. Kelly Gooch did a first impressions type video with it and I was like, I need that palette. And then they like had it in stock. So I was like, let me buy that. You guys need to go check out that video because I think that I look turned out amazingly and then I had such a good time playing with the Corderosa that I started scouring the internet for the Enchanted palette. This guy was sold out on Sigma and I was like, no! I was devastated. Let me tell you, I was freaking devastated. So then I found it on QVC and I was like, fine, sure. So I bought it on QVC. It's a Sigma palette. It's not like some weird dupe or anything like that. And it's stunning. I had never really been interested in Sigma, but let me tell you, the Corderosa sold me on Sigma's eyeshadow palettes. I'm like so pumped now. I'm probably gonna buy like every Sigma eyeshadow palette that comes out in this format in the future. So. Anyway, that is everything for my April haul. It feels like a lot, but I still feel like I did okay. Let me know what you guys picked up in the month of April, and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye, guys!